Okay, you're front loading. Well, let's front load with point of view. It's a skill that a lot of people can take for granted. Um, just what is the point of view? But it can actually help you make a lot of connections between the other skills like author's purposes and inferencing, taking educated guesses and predicting. So if you haven't watched those videos, make sure you check those out and uh, make sure that you understand point of view. Here we go. You can tell something about the story through the point of view. Can you tell a lot because the point of view is very open? Or can you tell not so much? The curtains are closed, you only can see this much. Well, decide which one. Okay. So first person. This is where the character tells the story. And the character is inside the story, usually a main character. And you only know about the other characters because of what they say and what they do. So the character who's telling the story uses words like, I did this, we did this, this is my house, we're going to my playground, things like that. That's first person, when the character's inside the story. Second person, a lot of people also take for granted because you read it more than you think you do. The author, whatever piece you're reading, generally nonfiction, but it can be fiction. Nonfiction, the author is talking directly to the reader. And the author is trying to get the reader to do something, feel something, believe something, or just trying to give them their own point of view. Second person. And so you, you do this, you do that. Um, most popular recipes, turn the oven to 350. Well, that's an imperative statement directed at you, the reader. You're the one reading the recipe, so they want you to do something. Um, another, directions, your GPS is in second person. Turn right in 500 feet. Again, they're talking to you. They're giving you directions on what to do. Second person makes a big connection to the author's purposes and persuading. So again, make sure you watch that author's purpose video and make the connection between persuading and second person point of view. Okay. Third person limited. This is where there's a narrator that's outside the story so you'll get the characters' names. Um, you only know the thoughts and the feelings of that one character. Um, for example, I'm going to use the Hunger Games books, Katniss. Katniss is the main character. You know about Katniss, you know how she feels, you know through everything that she's going through in the games. So, he, she, they use Katniss a lot. Um, and you don't know what's going on outside the games and outside of her head. You don't know how Peta feels, you don't know um, what the game makers are thinking. Okay, that's third person limited. Third person omniscient. Omni means all, and psi has uh, to do with knowing, um, and you have a suffix on there. So really, omniscient means all knowing. This is, this is a narrator, again, outside the story, that knows it all. Knows all the characters' feelings, knows all the characters' thoughts. Um, even if they're not revealed at the same time, you will know at some point in the story all of the characters' thoughts. So you're going, again, to use he, she, they, and the characters' names. And I'm going to point to the Hunger Games movies, in which in the book, spoiler alert, you know only about Katniss's experiences. But when they turn it into a movie, you can't really do a limited point of view, so they have to go outside and show and what what's happening to the game makers, what's happening to the family members outside of the arena when the Hunger Games are going on. It's a big switch and a lot of people, that's why they say they don't like the movie over the book, but it, it changes the point of view. Who knew, right? Point of view is important. And what else can you tell about the person telling the story? What inferences are you making about the characters? 
what inferences are you making about the author who wrote said piece? Okay. Point of view. Can you tell a lot? Or can you tell not so much about what's going on in the book? Okay. Good job.